In this video, I'm going to be trying out Cedar Voice X and it's supposed to be comparable to Waves, Clarity VX, as well as like Goyo and a few other tools out there. So we'll see how this adds up. This is definitely one of the more expensive of the plugins. I'm just doing the trial right now. And honestly, this is probably the most hurdles I had to jump through just to get access to it. What year is it? So you need an iLock account. Okay, that's within the norm. They don't state the prices on their website, which is a bit odd. And as far as trying out their products, there's no straightforward way to do this. You have to actually send them an email and, and ask to have access to them, which again, I thought was a bit odd. The suspense is terrible. <laughs> Normally you just go to a website and try out the product, but here we are. Anyway, once you get an email reply, they'll give you a link to be able to download a trial of their products. Once you get the email, you'll click on the link they provide and it'll have the option whether you're using a Mac or a Windows device. So choose whatever one you're using. Then you'll be receiving a zip file. You'll unzip that. Then within that file, it'll be a folder, which includes a PDF of the product and kind of a breakdown of how it all works, uh, how to install it. Pretty straightforward, just kind of clicking through. And there's only two buttons you can actually utilize in this product. Uh, okay, so you have two knobs. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if I needed a giant PDF for that. Um, contact support numbers and stuff to call, which again, I don't know why they don't have this readily available. Um, and they don't have their prices posted. I know, again, from everything I've heard, prices are pretty extensive. So if I get that information by the end of the video, I'll talk about that too. So double click your installer. It will launch the typical window here. Click continue, you know, read through all of the terms and services, make sure you agree to them. Put in your password for your computer so it can go through the installation process. Once you do get, get access to use the trial in your iLock license manager with the Cedar Studio, you'll see the products that you can use. But on the right side here is where you're actually gonna click this link and then it'll bring you to the website where you can actually download the trial. Then <laughs> you can download the demo and install it that way. Otherwise, you'll only have access to the voice one. Didn't realize this until after I started making this video. All right, let's get back to it. So within your iLock, you'll sign in with your ID and stuff. But now you should see the trial period uh, for the products that you're asking to try out there. So I want to try the complete bundle. So select the little option you want there and you'll click on the little plus icon. Make sure you have the product you want active to activate selected there. Press activate. Confirm that you want to activate this product. Okay. Now open your DAW of choice. I mean, whatever you're using, there's no one perfect one for this. There's no one that's better than the other one, whatever you're more comfortable with editing with. So now in my DAW, I can go to effects or wherever yours is located and you're just basically going to rescan your plugins and you should get the little window prompting you to activate it you'll get a window that pops up prompting you either for the serial number which i don't have or to sign up with your iLock so i'm gonna do that and i'm going to confirm yes i'm going to use this trial and what's next saying hey where do you want to use this thing i'm going to have it on my Unlock a little cloud option there so I can use it on any, you know, my devices if I'm moving around here. Confirmation, continue. For this example, I just recorded me walking around my uh, house here. So I'm talking directly over a fan. And I also exaggerated this by compressing the heck out of my voice. So this is over the fan and with the kitchen sink, uh, water Power of the active pinnacle. and also with an oven door opening and closing. Opening and closing. <laughs> so I just really exaggerated all these noises by compressing it. Um, so let's see what this can do. So there's just two knobs. It is pretty CPU intensive. So make sure you don't have all these applications open like I do. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't crash on me and I can get through this. It's over 9,000. 
So the two knobs you turn, one for voice, one for noise. Um, and I'll hear what the sounds with the voice first, and then we'll just get to the noise. So let me select the section with the fan. Standing next to a fan. So it actually did a decent job at like lowering or attenuating the voice. It does start to fall apart a bit. You can hear some artifacting happening there. So let's just zero this out and let's do the noise reduction. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6, standing next to a fan talking. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6. Ooh. So you can hear some weird artifacting happening. I'm also recording this in stereo, which I, I really wanted to throw this thing, you know, throw it in the deep end there and see how it can handle this. And then some weird standing next to a fan talking. Like that's clean. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom. And it's falling apart around this area here. Recording on a Zoom. So what's that sound like? Uh, and recording on a Zoom. Uh, and recording on a Zoom. Uh, and recording on a Zoom. Uh, and recording on a I think boosting uh, the voice isn't really doing too much to help this here. And honestly, this sounds good with the most of the background noise, but you are getting some artifacting. I'd compare this so far to Goyo or Clarity VX, although I have my own opinions about those as well. So let's move on to the water section here. Got water running. And see how well this is actually clean up a voice. So I have water running. Not bad. And see how well this is actually clean up a voice. I mean, there's still a little bit there. Instance was. So I have water running. And see how well this is actually clean up a voice. I feel like if you ran it a few passes, you'd probably get that last bit of the water noise. And let me hear how it sounds with the oven door opening. So again, here's the original. How well this can actually handle this some opening and closing. How well this can actually handle this some opening and closing. An oven door. So I want to see how much this can actually reduce these noises. And it's a highly talked about plugin. Um, not only because of the qualities tends to be really good, but the price tag. It's expensive. So this is Goyo. Uh, it's probably one of the more newer ones you've heard spoken about. This is using AI technology. I, I know that term's so vague. It's just like a hot button word. But you, for the demo, you need to have it connected online. All the demos going to run out pretty soon, so you actually need to purchase this thing pretty soon. And talking, and now I'm like right over the fan. And for this, I'm going to turn down. We have three different options for this. You have. Voice reverb. You have the voice by itself. I'm recording on a Zoom. And then we have ambient noise. So let's turn on the ambient noise and some of that reverb here with the sound. Standing next to a fan talking. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on it soon. I mean, even with that ambient noise, it got rid of most of that noise, and I don't hear a lot of artifacting. Mm -hmm. uh, it sits standing next to a fan talking. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on it soon. I take that back. You can hear it starting to break up there too. I'm recording on it soon. I'm recording on it soon. Okay. Not bad. And again, here was the original. Let me bypass this. And next to a fan talking. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm bypass the quarter on a zoom. Oh, yes. And I, I don't know how I forgot to mention that. Goyo, you can also change it from stereo to mono. So I have water running. And see how well this is actually clean up a voice. All the demos seem to be on a much easier. Uh, this is what the oven door. How well this can actually handle this um, opening and closing an oven door. This should be good. How well this can actually handle this um, opening and closing Oof. oven door. This should be good. How well this can actually handle this um, opening and closing oven door. I don't know if you can hear that. Closing oven oven door oven door oven. Pay attention to this little section here. I like how when I play it on loop, it understands what I'm trying to get rid of. 
Opening and closing. Oven door. So far, Goyo has the most flexibility as far as options are concerned with being able to use it in mono or stereo. Um, and it does a really good job at removing a lot of the room noise. It does add quite a bit of artifacting on the top end, as you heard with the uh, water section there. Um, and sometimes it adds like phantom words. Uh, let's listen to this Revive Pro so you can kind of hear what this does. So Standing next to a fan talking. There's two other, I should also say there's two different modes in the Pro version here. And I'll talk about pricing at the end, but. And now I'm up right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6. Standing next to a fan talking. And now I'm up right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6. They all tend to be falling apart towards the end here, which is interesting. But <laughs> Standing next to a fan talking. And now I'm up right over the fan. I'm so let's switch it to the, what they call the studio mode. Uh, you have your studio mode and a retain mode. Retain mode is like in the word, it keeps the ambient noise kind of there. So if there's room reverb, it kind of keeps some of that. And it doesn't really augment the voice as much. Studio mode will try to make it sound completely flat as though you recorded in a booth. Sound, it sounds very similar to using like Adobe Podcast. I wanted Goyo because you can just work on this offline. You don't need to be connected like Adobe Podcast. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6, standing next to a fan talking. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6. So it sounds a lot more dry. Standing next to a fan talking. And me personally, in my own opinion and usage of this after using it for a while here, um, I tend to favor using this if I do use it in studio mode. Uh, I'll have it as the four band uh, neutral option. And I don't really like what it does to the top end too much. So I kind of bring that down. So you can play around with percentages of the overall uh, processing here. So you can have this at. You know, a hundred percent of it's doing its thing. And then out of that, you can have this band only processing it at 25%. So I really like the flexibility of this because it gives me more flexibility than you would with like, uh, Goyo. And in this instance, it's kind of similar to using Clarity VX where you can process specific bands individually. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom. Uh, H6, standing next to a fan talking. Uh, water running. And see how well this is actually clean up a voice. So you're still hearing some of the room tone, right? You're hearing the room tone and like the natural reverb that's there. All the demos seem to be on a much easier uh, instance for this. I'll bypass uh, this. Water running. And see how well this is actually clean up a voice. So the saying water running, it's like, it's very muffled. Uh, water running, uh, water running, uh, water running, and then studio uh, mode. Water running, uh, water running, uh, water running. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely affecting what you're hearing a lot more. And this is going to be in the studio, or sorry, the retain mode first. How well this can actually handle this? So I'm opening and closing oven door. And this should be good. How well this can actually handle this? So I'm opening and closing oven door. This should be good. Next to a fan talking. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6. It sounds the most natural in the voice, but the artifacts, I would say, are some of the most notable because it has this weird, like, warbling happening. It's like phasing left and right. Talking. And uh, there's no option to have this in mono or stereo, which I think is a big letdown compared to its competitors out there. Standing next to a fan talking. And then the water. Let's bypass that real fast. Uh, water running. And see how well this is actually clean up a voice. All the demos seem to be on a much easier uh, Clarity VX Pro. Again, all these other ones have demos, which is wonderful. <laughs> the. Uh, and you don't have to jump through hoops just to get the demo. So that's that's a big upside here. So here's the Clarity version. 
uh, addressing the same areas. So this is the fan. And now I'm up right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6. And there's so many presets you can pick from this thing, which is wonderful. And now I'm up right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom uh, H6. Sensitivity you can adjust. So I, I like... As far as the control of the different plugins, I would say the top ones, in my, in my personal opinion so far, are Clarity VX because you can adjust so many things, the gate, add reflections within this app, the sensitivity, the different neural networks you can choose from. It's just a lot more uh, options to choose from. Goyo, I really like how you can adjust from mono to stereo. Accentize, it has some work to do. <laughs> There's still, still some work to be done. Uh, the fact that you can't switch from stereo to mono, and the same thing with the Cedar one. They're a little limited in that aspect. So these have the most flexibility. Anyway, let me shut up and go back to the water section of this. So let me bypass this. Also recording in stereo. Got water running. And see how well this act can stand up a voice. Fine. All the demos seem to be um, a much easier. I can adjust the mono within uh, this. Instance where it's still recording in stereo. Now it's in mono. Perfect. Okay. Uh, water running. Uh, water running. And see how well this is. I can clean up a voice. All the demos seem to be uh, uh, water running. Similar to uh, Cedar. And see how well this is. I can clean up a voice. Honestly, I think this one's like. The waves is taking a cake. All the demos seem to be uh, uh, water running and see how well this is. I can stand up a voice. Switching between the All modes. All the demos seem to be uh, uh, water running and sensitivity. And see how well this is. I can stand up a voice. And you can dial that back. All the demos seem to be uh, uh, water running and see how well this is. I can stand up a voice. So all of these. All the demos seem to be uh, uh, water running. And see how well this act can clean up a voice. All the demos seem to be uh, and similar to Accentize, where you can control the different bands. Although this has a few more, I really love that aspect. You can always adjust these. Uh, water running. So you can say, I want less processing and on see this how band. Well this act can clean up a voice. Or All this the demos one. seem to be uh, uh, water running. Oven door. I do like. So I'm just gonna see how well this can actually handle. You can add reflections, kind of like how you could with Goyo. Oh, so opening and closing the oven door. So I'm just going to see how well this can actually handle this so opening and closing the oven door. So I wanted to be as fair and honest with my opinions about this thing and try to put it under different scenarios <clears throat> where you can hear each of these plugins being pushed to the limits. And you can kind of hear for yourself what this kind of sounds like. There's positives and there's negatives with each one of these plugins. Some have more control than others. I wish this had an option to toggle between stereo and mono mode. I wish there was an option to ad address just reverb, kind of like how um, Goyo has that as an option. I wish there was bands that I can focus on. I don't know how you would change this UI interface, but the individual band attenuation, like how you see in Clarity VX, as well as Accentize, that would bring this up to a whole nother notch. And it's just the competitors have so many different options out there for you. And the price. Um, yeah, I mean, most of these are like in the, I would say the cheapest of the options is probably Goyo. And that one's not super cheap. I'll, I'll list the prices and screenshot that in the end of this video. But yeah, the cheapest of the options, I believe at the current time of this recording is probably Goyo. And the most expensive is definitely Cedar. So if you don't have a major budget to afford to pay for these things, this may not be the option for you. And then Waves Clarity VX, I mean, the, without the pro version, just the regular version looks similar to this. It's just like one knobby turn. It does a fantastic job and it retains most of the, of the natural voice you want to keep. And again, this is just my opinion. You may be like, ah, this is trash. <laughs> like, what if, I don't know how you feel about this plugin. If, if you tried this out, if it's worth your time or not, but I wanted to give my honest feedback on it. There are things on this that I like. And now I'm like right over the fan. I'm recording on a Zoom. It gets rid of like uh, water running, certain noises how 
phenomenal. Like it does a, a fantastic job, but you can hear like the weird Well, this is actually seen up a voice artifacting that happens in that low end it's just this weird phasey thing and there's no way to fix that um just introducing more artifacts into and it and i'm recording on a zoom uh, h6 and that's it's not adding voices that aren't there like some of the other ai tools which i love because again i i don't want to introduce more <laughs> noises into a mix you can handle this some opening and closing and it doesn't seem to be able to handle this See how well this can actually handle this um, oven door because it's going up and down different notes and like a scale, like how a voice would, you know, fluctuate and stuff. So is it worth the money? <laughs> uh, I honestly would probably use this with a mix of the other ones. I don't think I would just be like, right, this is the one thing I'm going to buy and use and throw the other ones out. Realistically, like I would probably use a little bit of this and a little bit of the other ones for different things because you can attenuate specific bands of noise, which you need, especially if you're doing restoration work or cleanup work. Like it's not really optional at this point. It's 2023, again, at the time of this recording. What year is it? And there's just so many tools coming out that can do this already. Like you kind of have to step your game up with that. The fact that you're not super transparent, I'm talking directly to Cedar here. Uh, the fact that it's not transparent on pricing can be very off-putting to new users. What do I do? What do I do? In the name of God, you've got to tell me. And people who want to get into editing audio and audio engineering. So I'd say make it a little bit more transparent about what your prices are. I don't know why that's still behind this whole wall. And you Email back and forth just to get trials. It's kind of silly, kind of uh, redundant <laughs> in my opinion. And see how well this is actually yeah, I wish there was like a clear, like, you need to buy this plug and the other ones don't work because it does work. It does a good job. It's just, it's not perfect. None of them are perfect. And it works on some instances better than others, but you can hear for yourself what it can and can't do well. If you were working with a budget, I would say either stick with like waves, not necessarily the pro version, because that does cost a lot. It's, it'll break your pockets a little bit if you're on a budget. So I would stick with Waves uh, VX, just the regular version, or Goyo. Those are the cheapest, cheapest options on this list, and they do a fantastic job. Uh, if you do have a little bit more money to spend, I would probably work with Accentize, but you kind of have to play around with that plugin because it can do stuff really well. But if you're trying to like transcribe audio and clean up audio, it can add actual words that aren't there. <laughs> so that can be problematic, but that would be like neck and neck with waves clarity. I would have that with like accent ties, although Goyo, you can't really like it's it's very close just because you do have the option to play around with stereo mode versus mono mode like these. All these things are very close, but Cedar. It's just the lack of options. And that price is the killer for me. So this probably be, wouldn't be something I would purchase and use all the time. There might be, you know, case by case basis where this sounds the best. But honestly, I would probably go with one of its other competitors, at least currently. When it updates and gives you more control of different bands. Bonus too. I know this is kind of late in the video, but they do offer other options in the bundle, such as the Cedar DNS2, which in my opinion is way better than their Voice X, which was like the newest thing they were promoting. And I was able to use it and you can see my demo expired, so I can't even demo this currently. I like used it and didn't record it at all, but I know it's hard to just take my word for it, but the attenuation on this thing, I normally had to end up boosting the, the bias pretty high on this, but the attenuation um, and leaving it on the like the learn mode, it did most of the job fantastically. And I would say this is a much better option than their Cedar Voice X that they're promoting currently. Within this bundle, a limiter, a de-hiss, which I also think is actually slightly better 
at removing specifically the hiss noise than Isotope RX noise removal tool. But again, this is specifically for removing hiss. But I ended up having to like turn the gain up pretty fr frequently um, after I applied this because it does lower it so much. And in doing so, you kind of I would kind of offset it a little bit. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that, but. Uh, the D hiss though, it worked really, really well. They have a D click, a D clip. Uh, the D clip, I've honestly would say it's pretty close to using isotopes. And even like Akon Digital uh, has a, a really good D clipper on there. I would say it's pretty close to those as far as like quality. The D crackle, I haven't really used that often in any like demos. So I can't give my opinion on that. I mentioned a few times in this video, like I wish it had different bands you can control. And they actually have that with their Cedar DN DNS-1, which does allow you to play around with individual bands. So you can have it in this learn mode and it will analyze the audio as it's playing. Um, this will be toggled on and you'll see these little uh, faders moving up and down. And essentially, essentially what it's doing is attenuating specific frequencies. And the closest thing I can think of is uh, Waves WNS noise suppressor. They sound really, really close. I would give this to Cedar, but barely. Uh, the fact that Waves does have an option to toggle on like the low pass and high pass filters does give it a leg up and you have a smoothing slider which allows you to smooth out how much it's affecting it. You have a threshold. So that's essentially what these are doing here. And you have the same thing, threshold and slider here. It's the same as this here. But this whole deal here, the DNS1 and DNS2, I would say are their bread and butter. It's like the best parts of their entire bundle. And as you can see, I can't use it anymore. My demo is already uh, over, <laughs> unfortunately. And I really, really wish I recorded me using these things. Um, but yeah, I would say the Waves noise suppressor is very, very close to how this sounds. So if you haven't had a chance to use this and you actually demoed, demoed using the Waves noise suppressor, it sounds pretty close to that. But I think by far their best product isn't even the newest one that they're promoting, which was the Voice X. It's actually the DNS uh, 2. So I don't know if they allow you to buy that individually. If they do, that's the one I would purchase out of their entire bundle, more so than any of their other products. But the price point, oh. All right, I'll get back to the video. If I have the prices, I will list that now so you can see how expensive these things are, how cheap they are. All right, y'all, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried these plugins? Do you have a favorite? Uh, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all soon. And uh, have a wonderful day. Peace.